guys i'm back welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my newbies i'm so sorry for having you guys wait eight months for part two of this video but here it is and i hope you all enjoy i will be popping back in just to tell you guys my likes and dislikes of the cruise that i took back in november um and i'm going to try to be more consistent and post another video for you guys on next week so I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is... I wish I had those like long socks for the eating stuff. That one. I already got this leotard, so. <laughs> What's his name? The, um, the guy? Yeah. Richardson. <laughs> Octopus <laughs> to the left, shrimp, and uh, on the right, I think it's squid. Hey guys, so sorry about all that wind in the background. I mean, it was really windy that day. But I did notice that the cruise, I mean, I've never been on a cruise before, but they did really did recycle their entertainment. So if you see some familiar faces, that is why. Special day on the cruise, and I'm in Bimini now. As soon as we're moving, we'll tell you where we're going. You hear Tony talk about the Jitney? She talks about a lot of stuff. But. 
Today, the Jitney will make three stops. The Bimini Beach Club and Resorts World Bimini. Then back to the ship. The tram will run all day until the all aboard time. More info can be found in the app. Okay guys, I'm just dropping in really quickly to give a quick recap on our last day of the Virgin Voyages cruise. So we did sign up for a, an excursion to swim with dolphins, but because of the weather, the wind, and just, I guess it not being a good day, we didn't get to fully enjoy that experience. Virgin Voyages was nice enough to give us a refund on that. In making light of that situation, we decided to go to the beach area where they had the cabana set up if you bought them. Um, it really didn't need to be bought because there was no one there. Um, we also went to a local hotel where I did some shopping and my friend tagged along. <laughs> and then it was back to the cruise ship. Well, I just want to talk about um, what I liked about the Virgin Voyages cruise versus what I didn't like. And um, I guess the first thing is that it was an adult cruise. Um, the plus was no kids, right? No kids on the adult cruise. But the minus was that there was a lot of older people that I was looking forward to connecting with, you know, people around my age range. Another thing that I didn't like was the internet confusion. Um, so I did order internet because I, I was in class and um, maybe I should have ordered the premium internet, but I ordered the basic for the duration of my trip because I had class. Or at least I ordered it for those days that I was going to have um, school or a meeting. Um, so that part sucked. <laughs> I mean, I did get through with my phone, but as far as like I brought my laptop in, for some reason my laptop would connect to the internet. Um, and then there are certain types of the internet you had with um, a certain plan. Zoom didn't work, but everything else would. So that was another thing. But the ship was new, I mean, new everything, like the bedding was new, no stains, no nothing. Like, you know, it was just a great experience for the first, not the first voyage, but I'm sure less than 10 people stayed in my room. Um, it was such a kind and diverse staff. I love this. Um, and also we got to see from experience that um, the staff, whenever they had a day off, they could come and do the excursions too. I mean, I'm sure they had to pay for it too. Probably got a discount. But um, there was this one girl and I want to pray for her family because she is from the Ukraine. I can't really remember her name. I want to say it's Ursula. I know it was something with a U. But anyway, she was really cool. She actually worked at the shops, which we later met her again when we were trying to scrounge around for um, alcohol on the way back to the US, which that was another bummer because like I was the last person to buy alcohol um, because international waters, you can buy it, but once you hit US waters, um, you can't buy anything. And we ended up getting to the US earlier. So, and I didn't know, they didn't make like an announcement or anything. So that part actually sucked because I was also gonna make some um, like clothing purchases out down there because we spent most of the trip there's so much to do and we did all those things um, that we didn't really go downstairs or 
and see, you know, all the cool shops and the spending. And they had high items, but they also had like, you know, memorabilia for Virgin Voyages, for Virgin Voyages. The pool also got crowded at times. I mean, that was like a big hangout spot. So I wish they had more than one large pool area. Um, that was a bummer. Um, and another thing, like when we did our excursions, I wish that Virgin had their own, in the Bahamas at least. In Mexico, they had a big touristic um, ship to go back and forth. But when we went to go see the dolphins, the ship was really loud. I mean, it didn't really bother me so much because I was just excited to do a new experience, but it was really loud for the older people <laughs> and uh, they made a big complaint, a big fuss about it. But um, the crew was nice and they get offered us snacks. Yeah, and there was just so much to do in the seven day span. There was a casino, there was a gym. I mean, I'm sure there's there's all those things in other ships too, but because that was, this is my first experience, um, with cruising, um, you know, it was just so much at one time. I did enjoy the ice cream. I had ice cream almost all the time. Um, yeah, tons and tons of little restaurants. Um, the app in the beginning was a nightmare because we had, um, I think we get access to the app like a couple of days before boarding or whatever, and we pick our restaurants that we want to eat at toward throughout the week. I think we got to eat at every single one, but the first day they had a problem with the app and like everyone's um, bookings went away. And then, so we ended up having two bookings for, you know, different things each day. Um, I think those kind of filled up pretty fast, even with a small amount of people on the ship, or at least the timings. You can eat from five to eight or five to nine or something. Dinner anyway. And so we did that. Um, as far as the food, I think it was very balanced towards different tastes. Um, there were certain things I liked, certain things I didn't like. I think I liked the best, the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Um, so overall, I think next time I will try to spring for a sweet and see how that experience would be. But definitely, I would definitely do a Virgin Voyage cruise again. All right, so catch me again next time, guys.